Have you ever heard of clear aligners? For example, Invisalign. They say that these pieces of plastic can actually move teeth. Hmm, plastic moving teeth. Is that even possible? In this video, I am going to answer this question. We will review tooth anatomy. We will take a look at what moves teeth and at the whole process of what needs to happen to make teeth move. Ouch! Then we will be able to determine is it even possible to move teeth with plastic? What's the matter with you? I'm Stefan Reinhardt, dentist and director of education for the Clear Institute, and this is Let's Be Clear About Tooth Movement. Let's start this thing. First, we need to answer this question. What moves teeth? The thumb. No. The braces. No. The tooth fairy. No. There is only one thing that moves teeth, and it's... It's... Force. <laughs> Do you want to know how teeth move? Let me show you. The human body is quite impressive. They told me to put a lab coat to make it more serious. And your glasses! No. No, not the glasses. Not the glasses. No, no, not the glasses. I said not the glasses. I said not the glasses. I wanted to make it more serious. Thank you. Let's look at the tooth anatomy. This is a tooth. You have the crown part. That is the part you see in your mouth. And we have the root part. That part, the root, is in normal condition bigger and longer than the part we see, but it's hidden inside the bone. Between the tooth and the bone, there is a, a ligament that we call the periodontal ligament. Periodontal ligament. This is, doesn't sound like somebody you would invite at a party. Periodontal ligament. Sounds so serious. So the, the ligament, this is what holds the tooth in place. It, it basically attaches the tooth to the bone. This is why if you make a pressure on your teeth with your tongue or your finger, you can sometimes feel a little movement. It is because of this ligament. When we apply a force to the surface of the tooth, we're compressing this ligament on, on one side and we're stretching on the other side. In fact, this causes inflammation in the ligament on one side of the tooth. Cells, little cells inside the ligament react to this condition and depending on what side they are, they will react differently. On the compressed side, they're going crazy. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Now imagine yourself trapped in that space, feeling the, the compression. You would want some more space and maybe you would call your friends to, to come and help you. This is exactly what they do. They, they want to escape that space and to do so, they need to create some space. Cells specializing in that, that we call osteoclasts, will come and start destructing and, and eating the bone on that side, creating some space and allowing the ligament to come back to normal. By creating some space, it also allows the tooth to move inside the bone. But what is happening on the other side? Now, the other side is more relaxed. You know, the, the tooth is moving away, creating more space, but at the same time, it is stretching the ligament. Like any good contractor that sees there is some space available, the cells also call their friends to tell them there is extra space in there. It's a good time to come and take advantage of it and build something on that land, which here would be bone. And this is how slowly but surely the teeth are moving. Everything is happening inside the bone. A little bit like a duck going on water. You know, they seem to move by sliding on the water, but, but their little feet are paddling hard under the water. This is what your, your cells are doing. This is what your cells are doing, paddling inside the... Paddling inside the ligament and the bone. Ow. Once we remove the force and we stop applying this pressure, everything comes back to normal. The bone and the ligament heal and the tooth is happy. Yay! This is why it doesn't matter what we use to move teeth, as long as there is a permanent force on your teeth. And the important word here is permanent. 
Going back to our initial question, does plastic move teeth? Well, it depends. Let me explain. We can move teeth with plastic, yes, but, 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 but plastic does not move teeth. What? Let's be clear here. What are these pieces of plastic doing? They are the ones applying the force on your teeth to move them. The force is what moves the tooth. This, this is the appliance we use to apply the force. It's like asking if a pair of scissors can cut paper. If I take scissors and put them on a sheet of paper, it will not cut the paper. You need to manipulate the scissors to be able to cut the paper. Clear aligners work incredibly well at one condition. You have to wear them. If you're in a clear aligner treatment like Invisalign, you need to wear your aligners 20 to 22 hours a day because in order for this reaction of the cells to happen, you need some time. It is not a five minute process. You cannot click on enter and, and make the teeth move. This is not how it works. The process needs six to eight hours to take place. But if you keep removing them, you're removing the force. The cells then stop working and you have to restart every time. It's the reason why we ask our patients not to remove them often or not more than 30 minutes at a time. The time you need to eat or brush your teeth because we need you and your corporation to make it work. We need you to make the move on your teeth. This is not the future anymore. It is actual digital dentistry, actual digital orthodontics. It's been there for more than 20 years and more than 8 million people have been treated with Invisalign to date. If you want to improve your smile or your bite but don't want braces, this might be a very good option for you. Talk to your dentist or your orthodontist about what clear aligners can do for you and tell them you want to make the move. Yeah, yeah. My name is Stefan Reinhardt, Director of Education for the Clear Institute telling you to remember that a smile speaks all languages. If you like this video, you might find some other videos that you will enjoy on this playlist. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe to our channel. Click the bell so you will be noticed of all new videos coming up every week.